Well, Chris, I know you came up against uh, first meeting with them and in the last meeting with them. Right earlier, when they were, well, he's, he's obviously back, but it, when you have an operation, it's a serious thing. It takes time to fully, um, and it's kind of going to give them a chance to show how good they still are. Well, hope of first few shots of the match kind of. You know, they work well together. Left hander, right hander combination. Um, I do think men's doubles is the most open event at the moment. There's not a, you know, over the last few events I've been to. I think the yeah the difference with the singles is when Victor's playing and he's on. He is you know he's a yeah. phenomenal phenomenal player that. Solid, physical, consistent, and because of that, he allowed then Kevin to be the flamboyant, creative kind of, you know, at times almost a wizard on the court. But <laughs> they they kind of complemented each other so. Well. If he's not quite there physically, then how do they win points? Kevin can't do it on his own. And we saw that in their last meeting at the Malaysian Masters, they didn't really look in it in the entire match. Hoki and Kobayashi. This is why I do feel the Indonesians, the conditions do throughout that tournament. Um, and you could tell. Just had that little bit more variation of power. Yeah. Just makes from Marcus's racket. Yeah, good cross. Oh. Hair blonde. I I had all sorts of colours, yeah. <laughs> Did it make you play better? Um, I'm not sure it did, to be honest. <laughs> we don't know. That uh, wizard analogy, I think he's right. He's just sort of making a move, and that's the integral thing when you're a net player. One player in this pairing. With where he moves, it's hard to predict. You know, it's very hard to calculate. Yeah. I've done better with that. If the Japanese have a bit more power or zip in their attack. Good court coverage. Covering for each other really well, the Indonesians. Good return. Kevin having to work hard in the mid to rear. Oh, he makes that. Keeping with the Japanese pair. They survive somehow. They got out of rotation, out of position. I think it was a fortunate miss here from Marcus before they got him back into the position. <laughs> Even though Kevin makes, you know, phenomenal moves, but quite unique moves. Whereas I'd say here it looks a bit like they're not quite sure he's. I, I do think, yeah, I think it all almost all stemmed from shuttle out and using his creativity. Game point. Hoki and Kobayashi. Four.
to, uh, sorry, this game to get through the Japanese defense because it is very solid. Oh, it's wonderful. It's hard to control that because obviously you are frustrated. Fusion. Somehow they keep it alive. Wonderful from the Indonesians in defense. Ready in defense, is he? Not almost like he's not bothered. Yeah, I mean he's a very casual guy, and that's sometimes how he played some of his best stuff. He doesn't even look ready. Yeah. And when someone hits a bigger smash or a stronger drive, sometimes his racket doesn't look like me. Um, but we haven't seen that for a fair bit now at his very best. So they've got to try to take the initiative in the Frustrating, the Japanese look pretty positive. That's himself a lot. He's got to have confidence in himself. He's still a good player. Is he playing at his best right now? Yeah, Kevin now just happy to lift off. Run away with the second. And Kevin 